Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to another video. It's me, Unlikely Makes Gaming. I'll be looking at another video. In today's video, guys, as you can see from the background, we're doing a redstone video. And as you've seen from the thumbnail and the title name, we're going to be building an automatic kelp farm. And I pretty much already recorded this video, and it got something happened to it. I'm not sure. But as you can see, it works automatically. Um, once the kelp goes all the way to the observers, the pistons shoot it out and it comes out. And then the minecart, if you wanted to, you make the minecart go. And it picks up everything, like about so. And then you turn it off once it gets to the end. And then it just comes back. Now it's about time, that, guys, that we go ahead and get this thing into preparations. Now, um... I just built this thing like a few minutes ago and the video must have got corrupted or something not sure it happened but I guess I have to rebuild this thing because I'm trying to upload this so I won't have to do any recording tomorrow and upload the same day so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna mine this and make sure that it's three blocks separated from each other and then mine that as well and put gravel inside of it like so and so what you want to do is you want to bring it 12 blocks long. So this is basically 12 blocks long and you just put gravel in each one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put glowstone here. So we can actually light this thing up. You don't want any drowns to spawn. Um, just because you're adding water in it makes it spawnable. So you want to make sure that you light this thing up. Anything can spawn in here. You don't want any skeletons to spawn in a part that doesn't really have see how the kelp it just comes out like that um already working <laughs> don't want to toot my own horn but yeah it's working so anyway you want this you don't want this thing to be spawnable like i said now what you want to now what you want to do is you want to put some regular pistons going across like about so and you do it on both sides and i forgot to say that you're supposed to come out a block from here and just mine it out just like about so just mine it all the way down around the entire build um, this actually is supposed to be the collection system and so you can just collect your kelp this way and make this less of a pain um, if you don't if you just want to do it the normal way um, to get away and just collect it up and pick it up your by yourself manually then you can go ahead and do that but I prefer just have it automatic because I really don't like to um, waste my time and I just want to stand there and collect it and I want to be able to AFK there so now what you need to do is grab your block of choice and put it in between there I just put some redstone connecting all of the pistons into collecting all of the redstone into the pistons, the regular pistons. And so, what you want this to be is just like 0% spawnable. I know I'm gonna say this a thousand times in the video, but if you built this in like a survival world, you need to be very careful because this thing can really get very cautious and spawnable. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our block of choice and bring it up by three blocks on both sides so you're gonna do this all the way down so let's go ahead and get that done whenever you have this done you want to grab the observers that you're gonna need in this build and you want to face them this way and make sure it's playing this way and just face them going in all the way down on both sides because as you will know the kelp will be going up to the top and over track to the pistons so it will work functionally so let's go ahead and place all of this in place just like so and then you want to grab your block of choice one more time well again because we're going to continually continuously need this and just put it all the way down here grab your redstone again and then put it all the way across Oop. put it all the way across around here like about so Oop. now what you need to do is you want to grab the sticky piston that you're gonna need grab that and then you want to put 
actually I kind of messed up a piece because what you're going to need to do is you're going to remove this and you're going to put the sticky piston right there instead of that redstone put the sticky piston there and put a piece of redstone on top of it so you won't mess it up and then you'll put a the one block of redstone the block of redstone that you're going to need right here and then when it pushes down it should power the redstone so now what I'm gonna do is just show you how this thing works and it should work functionally so let me see there we go so both sides working as supposed to and it should work automatically once you have all of the blocks in place now what you want to do is you want to grab some glass and put it going all the way up to the observers just like this and if you do want to expand this thing, you can. Um, it's up to you. All you need to do is just place a repeater. But I prefer just keeping it how it is because I really, <laughs> I'm a lazy guy, and I really don't really want to add all to that detail into it. But this is pretty much self-explanatory, so you can just go ahead and get all this stuff done. So I hope you put it, put all of the glass down on both sides, because if you didn't, then it's not. Then you're gonna have to do it. Um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna if you did this on survival then you're gonna need two water buckets but on creative then obviously you're just gonna need one but um if you're doing this on survival basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your first water bucket and then your second water bucket is gonna go there and then you could just continuously picking it up with one bu bu bucket and just keep on going across like this and you can't put the water in from the top up there because it has to be water sources because if it's not then it's going to mess up the entire farm so when you place in the water here do not i repeat do not put it facing into the piston because if you do it's going to destroy all of your redstone that you have inside behind the piston so make sure that you have it going out the other way and i'm going to do this on both sides and i'll be right back in one now after you get that done what you're going to need to do well you don't have to do this right away but i just prefer getting it done since you know you have all of the blocks in place you might as well just get all of the kelp done um, I prefer doing this over water and like an underground base or something because that probably make this much easier but if you're underwater then you're gonna have to clear a bunch out so I just prefer doing it in the overworld but like in the, un in the underground base probably that's probably what I would like you know consider instead of just doing something else so let me go ahead and get all this in place so guys, basically, basically what you're going to do is just, you're going to grab your block of choice and you're going to make it go all the way across, all the way into the, to the other side. You're just going to make a big fat giant eye going all the way to the other side. You need to make sure that you have this going to here because you can use iron bars or glass planes. Um, it's, it's up to you. Um, you, can go and you can use that. But now what you're going to do is you're going to use your glass panes for the first time. We grab those. And then you're going to make it go all the way across like so. Um, and this is pretty much, you already you know, this is pretty much obviously what you're going to do. So let me go ahead and get this done on both sides. So now what you need to do is you need to make like water streams and water sources that go across and push it out and it then go into the hopper minecart and then puts it into your chest to make it all automatic. But to not interfere with what we have going on over here, you need to put yourself some um, glass over it so it won't mess up the system. And um, the water automatic, the um, kelp automatically goes up to the top. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to have your water go across like about this and you need to make sure it's all like sources the ones at the front are all sources instead of the ones that you have on the sides in the front so they go like that and then what you're, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove all of this glass and then you're gonna put um don't do it too fast if I are you because the, when I made the one over there I ended up destroying a block one of my wool and then it interfered with my redstone so then so don't move it too fast so what did I do <laughs> okay so I did that but it's not much of a problem um, all you have to do is just put a, another glass plane there um 
we are very lucky that the um, new water aquatic update didn't interfere with that because if it did then this farm wouldn't work as functionally then what you're gonna need to do is just replace all of that with water right there like that but now you just need to do that on the other side as well so guys now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out from over here go one two three no actually one two and then go down there twice and then you come over here to the middle and then do like that twice down and just do that on every side so now guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our redstone torches for the first time and just put them inside of every single one oop, oop. put them inside of every single one and then you're gonna come down twice here and then put, put one there as well oh nope and then you're just gonna do this on every single side so whenever you get that gun done you're gonna grab your block of choice and you're just gonna put it over that so this one is probably wrong I think it goes like this Like that, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then put it there. And just put a block over it. But you're gonna grab your powered rail. And then you put one going into this one. Oop, nope, not there. One going into there. And it should be powered. Um, if it's not powered, uh, you probably did something wrong. You're gonna have to check that. So wherever you put your block of choice at, you're just going to have to put a powered rail on top of it. And then whenever you get that done, you're just going to put your regular rails going in between. So over here, so this part is going to be the tricky part, so you're going to have to pay attention. Attention very closely and make sure not to mess this up, because if you do... This is gonna mess up your entire thing. Um, well, it's not gonna mess it up very bad because you can just redo it and it won't be a big of a problem. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna place yourself some chest here. And then you're gonna crouch, put your hoppers going into it. You should use two hoppers for that, obviously. And then you're gonna grab a comparator. I'm not really fond on using comparators, but I guess put a block, put the comparator there, use your block of choice, put it there, then you put your redstone torch here, a block on top of it, and then a block going out from it, and then you're going to grab some your redstone wire. And that should be powering, and if it's not powering, then you did something wrong. Um, I know every single time I say that, I'm like, you did something wrong. Uh. Like and then, you grab your powered rail, and your regular rail, and you just connect those up to, maybe like, this, and that. And then you should mine this one down. Oop, not that one. This one. And then you use the lever that you should have. Put it going into it. Grab a mine cart with the hopper. Then you put it there. And it should be working automatically. And it grabs all of your kelp. And then once it flows up, I'm gonna let it go over again one more time. It's, it should stop. And then it's gonna reset, it's gonna wait for it to all go inside. And it goes in really fastly, quickly. And then once it all fills up, it should go back around for another one. And then it grabs whatever's left. I could recommend doing it twice before. And if we have a stack, then this is just like a very fast machine. We already have a stack right there. 
that's a very fast machine. It's already a stack. So if you just place in your kill while you're making the machine, then you even get more kill from doing that. So that's already a stack. And I'm gonna end up building this one in one of my survival worlds and then just making this automatic. But um anyway guys, hopefully you guys love this video and not just like this video of a, or a redstone video or an automatic kill form. If you did like this video, like this video. If you didn't like this video, dislike this video. Any feedback is good feedback for future content. But anyway, guys, that's all the time I have for you for today. Bye.